And hello there, YouTube Poke Walkthrough 6 here. Welcome to Pokemon Diamond Walkthrough Adventure Part 34. And you may notice that this isn't where I last left you off. That's because um, this is a very special episode. Uh, this um, well, not episode, but walkthrough part, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this part and walkthrough, I will show you where the locations of rock climb. And I will also also be telling you about the preparations we're going to make in the next video. Now, uh, in our last um, episode and walkthrough, again, whatever you want to call it, um, in the last one, we went to Team Galactic um, headquarters in Bellstone City. We raided it, beat the boss, and we set the Lake Pokemon free. But unfortunately, he said we have to go to Mount Coronet because he's planning something there. Challenge accepted. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> um, but unfortunately, there is actually a ton of things you got to do. Not this, but this is just for you know for fun. Oh, by the way, I start off in Bellstone City. I use my B-Barrel to teach it rock climb, so it knows <laughs> strength, rock climb, rock smash, and cut. How about that? But it's on at Rock Climb for, um, for reasons, because it's uh, kind of like an HM slave right now. Anyway, there is um, the only Rock Climb that's north of most of the region. <laughs> uh, there's a couple battles up here, too. This is the reason why I wanted to do this first, because um, the road to get here, I use um, Celestic Town, and then I went east into the Mount Coronet Cave, but then I went north through the fog, and I went out here. Because that road is actually a lot, um, hold on, let me see now, a lot, how can I put this? We waste more time. Sorry, I had the camera a little too close. It's just going to be too bright. Apparently those lines will have to stay. Alright. Now, I took out Lucario because I think Lucario is the best for the next episode. So, I'm just, I just use Torterra and the rest of the team, except Beville, for these battles. Um, so, to start it off, uh, here is um, Black Belt's, I don't know, it's just a Black Belt, <laughs> but a level 40 Machoke. So you can do that. Then you have the male skier right there, like spinning around like an idiot. I'll pause it right there. And he has a level 35 Geodude. Yeah, be careful of that. It's not, he's not just a nice, he does have a Snover, and he also has a Graveler, all level 35. So be careful of that little Geodude combination we have going on. Um, there's a little female skier right here. Uh, she has a level 36 Snover. That's about it. And there's one other battle, but there's also hidden items up here. Not hidden, but, you know, get, you get my point. There's a mental herb. Don't really know what a mental herb does all that much. Uh, here's the uh, other skier, who has a level 38 Staravia. Yeah, so they, uh, they, 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 they don't just have Ice-type Pokemon. They have a wide variety. <laughs> uh, get an H HP up right there. And there's one more item right there. I've been wanting this item all game. TM13 Ice Beam. Hallelujah. Replace Ice Fang for um, Fluxel. But now that that's done, we got the hard part done. Everything else is easy as pie. I can go for some pie right now. Ow. Sorry for the glare right there, but my foot's itching. Alright. We arrive in Heart Home City. This is where I originally wanted to start off, but I changed it to just to um, save time. And we're going to go all the way over here. Oh. 
I almost slipped my mind. <laughs> the preparations for the next video. Okay. Alright, obviously something big is gonna go is gonna happen. What it is, well, if you're first starting out with this game and this is the first you're watching this, oh well, well, you don't know me. But I do. And I played this game a lot of times. I experimented with other Pokemon, tried different teams, and um well, you're gonna be um you're gonna be surprised. Anyway, I if you um yeah, well, <laughs> here, I know this guy's name, Hiker Alexander, who's a level 35 Golbat, Graveler, and Onyx. So, start off with a Pokemon that, oh, whoops, that knows that. Now, like I said, my b all knows Rock Smash, because, oh, well, that too. And there is something here. Hold on. Yep. I don't know why that will, um... Rock was there blocking my way, but there is something here. It's an iron. So if you want to, you can pick that up. Uh, next, we are going to fly. I want to get the tough one out of the way. The second, second tough one. We're going to fly to Solution Town. Luckily for me, I have a uh, bike and Y, so if we do that. Over there, all the way over here, blah blah blah, blah and we can stop right here because we can't go through that with our bike. Alright, now what you need for the preparation for the next video is um, if you are, let me say this, against throwing ultra balls and great balls and all that good, all the good po um, pokeballs at legendaries, then you should probably get about 30 Pokeballs. About 30. I, You know, you can get more, sure, um, if you want to. Um, here's where it gets a little foggy. Oh, oh. Speak of the devil, it gets a lot foggy. And I'm sorry, but my camera cannot focus in on that. But, you know the way here. Get past these guys, and there's a little rock climb right here next to the um above the ba um little couple running around right there and beside the uh, little ace trainer right there anyway before you do this rock climb that's a dragon tamer and he's gonna have a level 35 gibble don't know what a gibble is uh, well you know now but it's basically an Dragon type. It's growing up to be a dragon ground type, but it's mainly a dragon type, and ice fa ice type attacks will kill it. Um, oh yeah, there's nothing over there. <laughs> what was I doing? Uh, this house is very, very significant. If you have, if you're training, uh, maybe like a Garchomp, it's a Gibble, Gabite, Garchomp. Garchomp is like the dragon of this generation, and I think once you have a Garchomp, you can come here. She is. Um, Grandma Wilma, she was raised in uh, Dragon Tamer's Village, and she will teach the toughest Dragon type move there is to your Dragon type. But unfortunately, if it's a Gibble or a Gabite or whatever like that, she will she won't teach it to you just yet. It has to fully evolve it, and it has to fully love you. And that'll do it for here. That's about all the rock climb here. <laughs> all right, Castoria City's next, and. If you're planning to uh, catch a legendary in the next video, which we well we won't really do, but you'll need a lot of Pokeballs in um, in, the, in this next few videos. The reason why is because we're going to catch a legendary. That's for sure. You guaranteed need at least 30 Pokeballs. All right, and not only the Pokeballs. Oh, snips. I missed some. I missed a spot. Not only Pokeballs, you'll need revives, hyper potions, maybe even full stores, full heals. You need the whole shebang. Because this is quite possibly the toughest point, I think, of any region. Besides the um, Pokemon League, this is the toughest point of any region. There we go. TMO5 Roar at the top of here. 
Ah, oh, crap. Didn't really want to uh, run into any Pokemon here. Reason why I'm not flying is because um, just yonder here. <laughs> not many people say yonder, but um, yonder here is actually another rock climbing spot. It is in the um, Valor Lakefront. I about. Bam. Enter here. If you need to heal, you can go to there. That, per that little officer standing behind the desk, go to there. Um, here is the rock climbing spots. There, there are spots. There are literally spots. You take a lot of ways here. Uh, there is a protein. Pick that up. Go down that rock little place there. <laughs> da, da, da. Oh, by the way, in that house. Oh, crap. So I have something in my teeth. <laughs> gross. <laughs> um, in that house, there, there's a little hidden item right there. It's a rare candy. Pick that up. In that house, you'll find you'll, you have a person giving you a coin app toss. It's just, you know, you touch the screen, flip a coin. Heads or tails, blah blah blah. That's pretty, pretty stupid. I have to admit that. Now, if you go down here, you take this little path all the way over here. Oh you know, yeah. By the way, if you're not a fan of wild Pokemon in this next video, you might want to buy, um, buy some repels. That's it. <laughs> I actually thought there was going to be um, a hidden item the end of that. But apparently not. But there is something significant we have to do in that house which slipped my mind. So you talk to that person, get a coin app, a coin toss app, which is bullcrap, but check in this green basket and you get a mass revive. How about that? Hallelujah. Use rock climb again, and we're actually not done with the spot. <laughs> oh no, we are not done with the spot. That little trickle of rocks that you see, take that down. We're going to go over here. Oop. Bam. Continue this path of rock climbing and rock climbing and rock climbing and oh my god, so much rock climbing. Hold on. Something was blocking the screen. Alright, there is TM85, Dream Eater. Once the Pokemon is asleep, you use that, it'll basically heal you up. Well, I mean, you just can't do anything about it because you're asleep. So it's, it's a pretty bitch move. It's like absorb, but for bitches. <laughs> uh, fly again. We're still not done. Sadly. I think this is our last stop. Oh, no, it's not. Crap. Got one more place. But we'll return to Veilstone City. Climb that wall. A full incense. I actually said that was a TM in one of the other episodes. I was wrong, apparently. <laughs> I think a full incense um, either is like. I don't even know. You can check that out in your own time. I'm on a deadline, people. Uh, right here. Go back to Celestia Town. Well, I do. We actually have to do something that actually slipped my mind. I can't believe I slipped, it slipped my mind. Go all the way over here. Boom. 
Rock Smash, if you have it, go, if you don't, go get it, because this TM, oh my, it's just as important as Ice Beam. Rock Climb, TM29, Psychic! Woo! Luckily, Haunch Crow can learn that. That is big. Alright. Now, I'm actually going to go to Snow Point City. I'm not, I don't really feel like going to the um, department store and just going every each level just looking for the items I need. I find that bullcrap. So just go to a recent city that's, well, you yeah, haven't been to in a while. Here's my Pokeballs. Even though I have 11 in the bag, 19 sounds good. Oh no. No. Literally, buy 30. You also get a Premier Ball if you buy 10 Pokeballs or more. So keep that in mind. Uh, Hyper Potion. Get about 12 of those. Well, okay. Get about 30 of those. In my bag, I have 18, so I only need to buy 12 now. God, I have so much money. It's not even funny. Um, I am going to buy... Yeah, 30 revives. I think my Pokemon are going to faint a lot. There's a full heal. I'm going to need that. Apparently you can't get a full restore. A little, a little bit of a bummer, but... Alright. Actually, I got 11 instead. 15. Okay. 15 full heals. Alright. Uh, if you're not a fan of put wild Pokemon in this ne in the next videos, take a su take a bunch of super repels. Uh, I have four, but not really that much of a problem for me. All right. Um, I'm actually gonna sell a couple things just because I can. Um, I don't really need honey. No, there's no money time. Neither do tiny mushrooms. I need. Who wants some shrooms? Uh, Stardust, out. Nugget, out. Uh, like clay, it, it only brings down the bow's accuracy. It doesn't help me. Which is bullcrap. Oh, here, the mental alert. Snaps the holdout of infatuation. And, you know, it's used only once. Oh, yeah. This is the most weirdest item I've ever seen. And an, an item to be held by a Pokemon is an exotic smelling incense that makes the holder bloated and slow moving. How is that helpful? And you could sell it for 4800 which I'm going to do, which is, is, well, oh, I forgot, that was only one part. I don't need the paralyzed heals. I don't need the antidotes. I don't need the burn heals as well. Because I have a lot of full heals, so that will heal anything. Not also this lava cookie, which I want to really get rid of. Um, I gotta use that these three things. Uh, but yeah, I can do that in between videos. Um, oh, I keep forgetting. There's other things right here. I don't really need eight great balls. And I really don't want five Ultra Balls at this moment in time. Because really, I want to keep the tradition of life of catching legendaries with Pokeballs. Like a boss. Oh, and this person gives you like Dust Balls, Quick Balls, Summer Balls, all that stuff. Which is, you know, don't really need it. Um, Alright, uh, it is the end of the video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did it, well, oh well. <laughs> Thanks for watching anyway. <laughs> um, in our next video, uh, by, the, by the way, make sure you get an Orbit City. It's the quickest way, I tell you, to, in this next video. Uh, in the next video, we will be taking on Mount Coronet. I won't really like it, but unfortunately, we have to. Just to continue on with the story. Um, I will uh, cut through most of it. 
so yeah. And I'm depositing a uh, Torterra because I went over everything I needed. And plus I'm gonna need Torterra for the eighth um, gym. So until then it's just gonna be my my five here. I'm not carrying B barrel. I'm only gonna use B barrel for a um oh, not a pause, but um I can't think of the word, but a distraction sort of thing. <laughs> uh, heal up. Major heal up. Make sure you have your items because once you're up there, you probably won't, you can't get back down. Trust me. Alright. Get everything in order. Alright. We are ready to take on Mount Coronet. So, thank you for watching. Um, in our next, uh, like I just said, in our next video, we will be taking on Mount Corn on Cornet. I will be going through all the battles, almost all the battles there, just to, um, stall, sorry, to bite. Just to stall, not stall time, but just to, not waste time, but the opposite of wasting time. So, just go on, rummage, not rummage, ah, go through Mount Cornet for you guys. Write all, write everything down. Take it, take good notes, and then when I'll be back here, and I will go through most of the battles with you guys. Um, unfortunately, this is gonna take like a long time. I don't know how long, but um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm a risk taker. I'm a risk taker. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of items along the way, so it's gonna be a lot of stuff. Extremely a lot of stuff. So be prepared. And I will see you guys in the next video. Please, thank you for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, share. Do all that good stuff for me. So until then, this is Parkway Walker 6. Subscribe for more. Peace.